The Buckdale Bison were back at home for the first time in three weeks at Christy Mathewson Memorial Stadium on Saturday, as it was a matchup of two Patriot League unbeatens. The 2-0 and 20th ranked Colgate Raiders met the 1-0 Buckdale Bison. White. Buckdale will boot this one right to left. A little bit of a breeze here. It's blowing across the field west to east. Here's the kick, and ladies and gentlemen, it's game time at the Bison Sports Network. Rocket gets it at his goal line. Up the near hash marks, he finds a seam to the 20 to the 25. Then Matra will take his feet out from under him at the 27-yard line. On the second offensive series of the game for the Raiders, the Bison defense came up big. No, he's going to pass, has time, now runs to the right, a lot of room. Now he stops, now he waits, now he throws, man, open, it's going to be intercepted. Is it intercepted? It is! <laughs> Only the second pick this year on the sophomore, Brenneman, as it was a jump ball at the 10, and it's picked off by Bucknell. And is that Joe Loro? Yes, Joe Loro, who came up with two huge hits late in the game at Worcester, gets the second pick this year on Brenneman. First time that Colgate has been stopped. Brenneman, you mentioned it, had some room outside, and boy, that is an outstanding pick. <laughs> And the defense came up big yet again. Second and four at the Colgate 41. Here's Brenneman again handing off to Holland. He gets stood up and dropped backwards. Great form tackle for Jimmy Sheehan, the junior from Hershey, PA, who lost his starting job to Namdi Onachuku, but he comes in in reserve and he makes a great play. Wow, that was just solid play. That is tackling. 101. Colgate stopped the Bucknell offense on successive plays, and Bucknell had to call on punter Alex Peachin. But Colgate was ready with a huge return. That set up the first score of the game. Early in the second quarter, trying to give Colgate a lead on a 37-yard kick to the end zone. Goal boost to our left, and he does split the uprights good. So Colgate does get points, mainly because of the punt return. But the Bison offense finally got things going. Now third down, here comes a blitz pass, and it'll be caught, and Bethay makes a man miss. He'll take it for a first down and more up the near sideline to the 20, up to the 24-yard line. Disaster actually struck on the next play as the Bison fumble the ball back to the Colgate Raiders. Fortunately, the Bucknell defense stood up to the challenge. Here's Brenneman on a draw play, has a lot of room to the 10, to the 5, to the 3, to the 2. Fumble the ball, and Bucknell has recovered at the 1. Oh, my almighty, what a great job by the Bison, ripping the ball free. And Brenneman's made two big mistakes, and Loro has made him pay both times. Got a pick and a fumble recovery at the 1. Ripping the ball out of the runner's hands, that's what it is. When you get the opportunity and you have a runner that's a little bit stu stood up, it's then time to go and rip it out. And you know what? Brian Marine is the one who creates that fumble. The Colgate defense stiffened and forced another punt for Bucknell. And one more time, the Raiders punt return team really put the offense in a great position. And the Raiders capitalized on the great field position on a short touchdown run. After an exchange of punts, Quite possibly the biggest play of the first half occurred when Colgate got the ball back. If we have play action, he'll throw a deep ball, man, wide open his rocket down the near side to the 40, to the 50, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, touchdown Colgate. The Bison trailed 17-0 as the two teams entered the third quarter of play. Bucknell's offense, though, had a big play early on. Logan Bittacoffer, the sophomore quarterback from Ohio with Jared Cooper, the freshman running back behind him in the pistol, hand off to Cooper. He'll bounce it outside and find a scene down the far sideline to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. He'll be into Colgate territory and take it all the way down to the Raiders' 39-yard line. After Colgate forced yet another Bucknell punt, the Raiders started to move the ball until this play. Takes the snap, fires the slant. It's going to be broken up by Marine and almost intercepted. Vincent says he came up with it. We'll have did. to wait and see. They do say it's interception Bison. Tip drill, Kevin, as Marine tips it. Vincent, who's having a terrific first game.
Dallas Dallas is intercepted on the play by number 36. The turnover gave Buckdale excellent field position, but once again, one of the nation's best defenses came up strong and forced Buckdell into a field goal opportunity. It's going to be a 25-yard field goal for the right-footed kicker to the goal post to our right. Ball on the right hash mark. Placement is down. Kick is up. It's on its way, and it is good. So Buckdell breaks the goose egg on the scoreboard. However, Colgate would answer with a field goal of its own and then scored the game's final points on a short touchdown run to set the final score of Colgate 27, Buckdale 3. Their team approach so complements each phase, all three phases. And uh, this is, and I told a couple of the players, uh, this is as good as Colgate defense as I've seen.